so in this spot people come and relax here in this area it's a relaxing area here people come and chill spend time So right now I think I'll be going to J is it JICC building? Okay, let's walk this beautiful street. Wow. So right now I think we are going uptown. Uptown Nairobi. Guy, I love this space man. Guy. <laughs> you know Kenyans when you're surprised, you say guy, my guy. Actually. He's here calling me. Hello. Yes, bro. I'm here walking towards that, that side. Eh? Yeah, I was recording a vlog as I'm coming there. Okay, okay. Hello. How are you? Greetings from Uganda. Have you been to Uganda before? Please visit. <laughs> Uh. <coughs> Apparently there is a bank here. It's called Cooperative Bank. Cooperative Bank of Kenya. Ooh, guy. Look at that. Look at these guys. This is so interesting. Apparently, if I was vlogging in Uganda next to a bank, they chase you away. But here, no ahala. Hakuna matata, Kenya. Actually, <laughs> yesterday I had gone to eat some, some uh, food, and one of the waiters told me, do everything you want in Kenya. This is a free country. <laughs> that statement, like it was so impactful it carried so much meaning this is a free country just a normal person telling you that but do everything you want here we have no problem hakuna matata excuse me mommy where is JICC building? yeah Oh, the, the highest viewpoint in Kenya. Yes, I heard it. Oh, Asante. So, from downtown to uptown Nairobi. Guys, honestly, I'm impressed. Everything I'm seeing here is beautiful. So, looks like I'm a bit, oh, the building is here. I thought I'm lost. I've seen the building. So that means I have to go on the other side of the building. On the main entrance. Or there could be an entrance this side. Let me go and see where well, there is an entrance there. Guys, I think let me go and pass here and pass down here because I, at least I, I remember this route yesterday as I came to that building. Yeah. 
Thank you. Wow, wow. I love the fact that there are trees everywhere in Nairobi. Every side has got trees. There is a lot of green in Nairobi. Apart from downtown, but uptown has got a lot of trees. I think that's why it is so fresh uptown here. So guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. I feel I have to rest my arms. I'm a bit tired. I don't know what to do. But uh, let me go and meet my friend, my colleague here at the building. And I will catch up and he takes me around Kenya, Nairobi. So it looks like we are here. Actually, there is a, an exhibition here happening today. I was here yesterday and they were preparing the tents. And I was told they are going to be an exhibition here. So let me call my guy to come and pick me up or to find out where he is. Where he is. Hello? Yes, bro. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm at the entrance. No, 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 no. Opposite uh, to GICC building, eh? GICC. The highest viewpoint opposite the uh, office of the governor. Okay. Okay, thank you. 
So yeah, my so guy is here. Oh. I thought you don't know my face. <laughs> you came straight to me directly. <laughs> no, uh, you know I've been watching your videos. Oh really? Yeah. Ah, you're lying. Why? Sure. I've seen you covering the Kampala Express. Yeah, way. the flyover. Yes, you have gone to Mbarara. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah. been to those places. Okay. These Chinese are selling things? <laughs> they sell? <laughs> yeah. They are hawking on the streets? Of course. Are they allowed? Of course. They have uh, the permit. To hawk on the street? Yes. But uh, I'm sure they are going to see me because they are entering the KICC. Mm. So probably they are okay, going to Okay, there is an exhibition there. Yes. So probably that's what <laughs> they are going to do. I thought those, they come as investors. Investors are supposed to be in big buildings, not in the streets. Big buildings. Even the expressway is here. They are the Chinese who built it. So you can find them anywhere. No, I mean hawking. Hawking things they on the hawk. streets. Wow. Even when you come in the evening, you'll find them here. Wow. We have even Gong Road. Even Gong, Road. Could, Gong Road? yeah. Not in the CBD. Mm. It's outside the CBD. Mm. You'll even find Rwandese. Ah, for people. fellow Africans, it is okay. <laughs> <laughs> even the Chinese, they do so. They do so. <laughs> for fellow Africans, it is okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, how have you experienced Nairobi? Nairobi is a yes. vibe. Nairobi is so developed. Is it your first time in Kenya? Yeah, this is my first time and honestly, I'm impressed. Ah. Nairobi is so clean. The streets, I've been walking around everywhere and the streets are very, very clean. Really? Super organized. Yeah. Have you gone to Kigali? Ki? Kigali. Kigali, Kigali not yet. I think you should go there. I think Kigali is my next country. But Nairobi is uh, wonderful. Nairobi is wonderful. I know you are much, in as, much as Chigari. <laughs> I'm in a block. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are the abroad of Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. much as Chigali is clean, yes. I've not been there, but I see it on videos. Yes. But Nairobi is also clean compared to where I come from. Yeah, it's developing. Compared and, uh, to where I come from, yes. you guys are on another level. Really? Yeah, honestly speaking. Yeah, and uh, you see, if you compare now Nairobi to Kampala, mm. even in the transport sector, I, uh, to some extent, I was there one particular day. In, in Kampala? Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, now on the motorbikes. <laughs> Rowdy, no organization. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Actually, if you were in Kampala, you'd be hearing motorcycle engines, motorbike engines. Yeah everywhere and i think there is by the no time you leave the city the sound is still in your in your head the sound so, of the mod the engines they just uh, overlaw is it overcrowd yeah yeah, road. yeah even yeah, the vehicles they don't have somewhere to pass yeah but here there is there is uh, organization so much organization and, uh, you know that is brought about by the nairobi city council security interesting so they organize the city mm. and like in kampala mm. where it's like uh, every man for himself mm, yeah, yeah 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 Even so was it like was was it like this before like having yeah, many border been, borders this organization in the city uh in nairobi yeah. no it has never nairobi been like has that been organized oh, and in yeah. fact they have been trying to take all the motorbikes away from Out the town CBD. center yeah. yes oh man so welcome to nairobi thank you yeah, asante very sana welcoming city. i'm here to express the country and yes. also learn swahili ah yeah are you sure you will learn Swahili? Yeah, I want to learn Swahili because my Swahili is Kidogo. But the best thing is, mm. you know English. Yeah, I know English, but I still... Was, I was uh, in northern Uganda mm. sometimes back. Mm. It was uh, hectic to communicate. They don't know English, mm -hmm. they don't know Swahili. <laughs> so it was hectic. So we had to get one person who uh, understands English. To translate. To translate. You know, um, those people, Yes. they suffered a lot in the last 20 years. Okay. There was an, an ongoing war, was war there, the Joseph Kony War. Eh? Okay. So most of them were displaced, they were always on the run. Yes. So they didn't have time to to go to school, the children. Yes. But 30 years back, I think it, it was one of the most uh, educated regions in the country. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because most pre uh, Idi Amin was yes. under uh, Idi Amin and Obote, our former presidents, yes. they were coming from there. Okay. So they enforced education in those areas. Oh. Yeah. But All right. Uganda is always good. 
Yeah, Uganda is good. Uh, when it comes to food security, mm. I think we can give you a big up. Yeah, we and, have. And uh, there was something interesting about Uganda, mm. whereby even in the morning, mm. already they have cooked Tipa, meat. Yeah, meat, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you're taking breakfast, uh, <laughs> meat is part of the breakfast. <laughs> yes, that's katogo mi- matoke mixed with uh, offals or meat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes. That. That's wonderful. We have plenty of food there in Uganda. So welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And uh, to all the viewers, mm. make sure you subscribe. Yeah, my brother, is, his Shifting channel news. is called Shifting News. You can visit. I'm going to leave it in the description and also in the first comment. Yes. You go and show him some love. So right now he's going to be taking me around. We are going to be making amazing vlogs, guys. And enjoy the Nairobi city. Nairobi. Very welcoming city. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you read somewhere, it is the best city you, you can live in. The, the best. best city? The best welcome. In terms of what? Uh, in terms of uh, development, economic yeah. stability. Mm. You can find a house to rent easily. Sure. Yes. Okay. We have, uh, yeah, that is now a metropolitan of Kenya. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm silly, I'm going to experience everything. But on the side of, of hospitality, yes. Kenyans are so good. And they are open to the camera. Yeah, in my country, when you're vlogging on the streets, yes. you will see some people hiding their faces. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but here everyone is minding their own business. Yeah, everyone, you know, <laughs> when one doesn't need to interfere with your business, mm. so everyone just concentrates on what they are doing. Yeah, so sometimes about Kenya. people shout at you on the streets, yeah, why are you recording? Yeah, but recording. only you have to limit, there are some places where you can't record. No, here, yes. I was vlogging everywhere. No, you can't vlog everywhere. You haven't gone everywhere, that is the only Let part. me tell you. Okay, yesterday I came here. Yes. This is the governor's office. Yes. There was a lot of military here, around here. Yesterday was Mandamano. I just went, yeah, it was demonstration, <laughs> but being that it was demonstration, there was a lot of military, but yes. I just went recording, yes. and they were not minding about They me. were concentrating on Mandamano. <laughs> yeah, so there are some places hey. where they restrict, like uh, even the street. If you go direct like this, mm. then there, there is, is a parliament. The, yeah, there is parliament. Mm. So at that point, you are not supposed to record. Okay. Yes. So there are just specific areas mm. where you are not supposed to do any vlog. So but that is the only bit you have. But to all in all, you yes. guys are more receptive, more open to the camera, True. and I'm really loving it. And some people think I'm Nigerian. <laughs> Maybe you look like <laughs> Nigerian. Oh, most of them are saying I'm Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah, I was also standing here waiting for you, and one guy said, "Oh, you're from Ghana." <laughs> oh, it seems you you resemble Odemaya. Maybe they can say you. Are yeah, we made some videos with Odemaya in Kampala, and people were like, "We are siblings." Me and me. <laughs> And also, one of his latest videos, yes. he uploaded and I featured him. Okay. People were like, what? Is, that is your brother, in yes. the comment section. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and funny enough, yes. some people say, because when they came to Uganda, uh, my wife hosted Miss Trude on her channel. Uh-huh. By the way, my wife's channel is called Karunji Josephine. Okay. So she hosted Miss Trude. They were talking about investment, real estate, yes. how she handles her money. And people were like, my wife is Miss Trudy's big sister that they resemble. <laughs> so like, uh, no. Such a coincidence. coincidence. So, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So this is Nairobi. Nairobi. All right, so let's end the vlog and uh, we'll find something else to do. Let's explore more. Bye-bye.